Who would emerge victorious in a clash between a lion and a tiger? A question that has sparked countless debates, adorned ancient art, and captured the imagination of wildlife enthusiasts for generations. We're delving into this age-old rivalry to shed some light on the matchup that has intrigued us all, the lion versus the tiger. By virtue of their raw power and formidable presence, these big cats have long been celebrated as symbols of strength and courage, but beyond their shared reputation lies a world of difference. From their hunting tactics to their social structures, each has unique attributes that set them apart. So who would win in a hypothetical face-off? Is it the lion, revered as the king of the jungle, or the tiger, the largest cat on the planet? This question has been a source of fascination for centuries. Today, we unravel the truths and myths behind these majestic beasts. Meet the lion, known as the king of the jungle, and the tiger, the largest cat in the world. Two majestic creatures, each ruling their realms with sheer power and undeniable elegance. The lion, with its iconic mane and a roar that can be heard up to eight kilometers away, is a symbol of strength and courage. Found predominantly in the African savanna, lions are social animals, living in prides, unlike most of their feline cousins. Adult males typically weigh between 150 to 250 kilograms and can reach up to four meters in length. They have a lifespan of 10 to 14 years in the wild, a testament to their resilience in the face of nature's harsh realities. On the other hand, we have the tiger, the largest of all the cat species. With their striking orange and black stripes, tigers are a sight to behold. They call the dense forests and grasslands of Asia their home. Tigers are solitary creatures marking large territories to hunt alone. An adult male tiger can weigh up to 300 kilograms and measure up to three and a half meters in length. Tigers can live up to 20 years in the wild, outliving their lion counterparts by a significant margin. Despite their differences, lions and tigers share several similarities. Both are apex predators sitting at the top of the food chain in their respective habitats. They are both carnivorous, hunting for their meals with a mix of stealth, speed and power. Their social structures, however, are where they diverge with lions living in prides and tigers preferring a solitary existence. While the lion reigns over the African savanna, the tiger dominates the forests of Asia. Each has adapted to thrive in their respective environments, embodying the very essence of survival of the fittest. These two titans of the animal kingdom, each magnificent in their own right, are a testament to the diverse and dynamic world of wildlife we are privileged to share our planet with. How do these magnificent creatures survive in the wild, you might ask? Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of lions and tigers, particularly their hunting strategies and social structures. In the sweeping plains of Africa, the lion, often dubbed as the king of the jungle, reigns supreme. Unlike most big cats, lions are incredibly social creatures. They live in groups known as prides, typically consisting of about 15 members. This pride structure plays a crucial role in their hunting strategies. They often coordinate and work together, using their collective strength to bring down larger prey. Picture a group of lions, each with a specific role, working in unison to secure their next meal. It's a sight to behold. Contrarily, in the dense jungles of Asia, the tiger, the largest cat in the world, adopts an entirely different approach. Tigers are solitary hunters, preferring to silently stalk their prey alone. They rely heavily on their camouflage, blending seamlessly into their surroundings before launching a surprise attack. Imagine a tiger, silent and near invisible in the undergrowth, exploding into action to catch an unsuspecting deer. It's a testament to the tiger's stealth and power. The stark contrast between the hunting strategies of lions and tigers extends to their social structures as well. The lion's pride not only aids them in hunting, but also in protecting their territory, raising cubs, and learning vital survival skills. On the other hand, tigers, being solitary creatures, mark and defend their territories alone. They raise their cubs single-handedly, teaching them everything they need to know about survival. In essence, both lions and tigers have evolved distinct strategies and social structures that work best for them in their respective habitats. They are both apex predators but they take different paths to achieve the same goal, survival. The lion's strength lies in its pride, while the tiger's power is in its solitary stealth. 
These majestic creatures, though different, are equally fascinating and formidable in their unique ways. Now let's delve into the physical strength of these beasts. When it comes to physical strength, both lions and tigers are forces to be reckoned with. Lions, often dubbed the kings of the jungle, are known for their raw power. Their muscular bodies, with adult males weighing in at around 400 pounds, enable them to take down wildebeest, zebras, and even larger prey. Their broad shoulders and robust limbs are designed for short bursts of intense speed, ideal for ambush hunting. The speed of a lion is indeed impressive, but it's their stamina and strength that truly shine. They can carry prey almost twice their own body weight and drag it back to their pride, demonstrating an incredible show of strength. A lion's jaw is another testament to its power, capable of delivering a bone-crushing bite. On the other side, we have tigers, the largest cats in the world. They can tip the scales at an astounding 600 pounds. Their strength is legendary, with tales of them dragging prey weighing over a thousand pounds over considerable distances. Tigers are also faster than lions, reaching top speeds of around 40 miles per hour, and their agility is unparalleled thanks to their lithe bodies and powerful hind legs. Tigers, much like lions, have a powerful bite, but their real weapon is their teeth. The canines of a tiger can reach up to four inches in length, making their bite lethal and their grip unyielding. They are proficient swimmers too, using their strength to power through water and catch prey off guard. In terms of raw power and size, tigers take the lead. But lions, with their social structure and cooperative hunting strategies, can match up to the strength of a tiger. It's a close call, and both animals have their unique strengths and abilities that make them formidable predators. Both creatures are formidable in their own right, but who would win in a one-on-one -on -one battle? Imagine a hypothetical battle between a lion and a tiger. Who would win? Now that's a question that has sparked many a debate among wildlife enthusiasts and experts alike. Now one might think it's all about brute strength, but in reality there's so much more to it. The outcome of such a battle could be influenced by various factors, not the least of which is the terrain. A fight in the open savanna would likely favor the lion who is used to such conditions. Conversely, in a dense jungle, the tiger with its superior stealth and agility could have the upper hand. That brings us to the next factor, the first strike. In the wild, the predator that strikes first often has the advantage. A lion with its mane has some protection against the tiger's powerful bite. But if the tiger manages to land the first strike and latch onto the lion's vulnerable rear, the tables could quickly turn. Stamina also plays a significant role. Tigers, solitary hunters that they are, have evolved to have greater stamina than lions. A drawn-out battle could therefore tip in the tiger's favor. Now let's delve into historical accounts and expert opinions. Records from Roman times, when these magnificent creatures were pitted against each other in the Colosseum, suggest that tigers often had the upper hand. Modern-day experts, however, are reluctant to make such assertions, given the numerous variables involved and the simple fact that these animals are not natural enemies. In reality, a lion and a tiger would likely avoid each other if given the chance. Each animal is perfectly adapted to its environment and role in the ecosystem. Their strengths and abilities are not designed for fighting each other, but for surviving and thriving in their respective habitats. The battle between a lion and a tiger is a captivating thought, but remember each animal is a king in its own right. In the realms of their own, both the lion and the tiger are ultimate survivors. We've journeyed through their habitats, marveling at their unique attributes. The lion with its social structure and the title of king, and the tiger with its solitary lifestyle and the honor of being the largest cat. We've contemplated their strengths, their hunting techniques, and even hypothetically pitted them against each other. But these discussions, as captivating as they are, should drive home a more profound message. These majestic creatures, each remarkable in their own right, are endangered species. Their survival hangs precariously in the balance. Conservation efforts are not just important, they are essential. We must protect their habitats, curb illegal hunting, and promote ecological balance. The real victory is not in pitting these magnificent creatures against each other, but in ensuring their survival for future generations to marvel at.